Sound Leisure was formed in 1978 by my father Alan Black. Um, we're based in Leeds and ship our hand-built plastic jukeboxes all around the world. One of the machines that uh, came out of our initial meetings with the team at Crossley was the 42. Uh, this is a, <laughs> it's been a great project to work on. Um, we were given a brief to replicate a 42 racing car that Bode Lamastus, the CEO of Crossley Radio, um, races. So we got given the brief to transfer the livery and racing style of Bo's Arca racing car uh, to a jukebox. Uh, in the initial design meetings that we had, uh, I pointed out that the cars were white and black, and Bo just said, it's got to be red, it's got to be bright red. The red in question is... Uh, we found out later is a, a special red that you can only get in one place in Italy. So trying to match the colours of the red was a bit of a nightmare, but we got there in the end. Once the colour had been matched, the side graphics were printed onto a tough self-adhesive vinyl, which were then matte laminated to give them extra protection. These were then hand cut with a 5mm overhang, ready to be precision trimmed once in position on the jukebox cabinet. The cabinet for the first machine had already been manufactured in-house at Sound Leisure prior to the team from Crossley's visit to the UK. This allowed the whole team involved to personally sign the inside of the cabinet and mark this momentous piece of manufacturing and the partnership between two companies. The cabinets for the 42 are built from a medium density fibre board cut on a CNC machine and then capped with a real wood veneer which is then sprayed and varnished ready for the vinyl graphics. Once the main graphics have been applied, the vinyl is precision trimmed. The area covering where the cash box door is to be inserted is carefully trimmed and saved as this will be reapplied to the door once it has been fitted.
graphics for the front speaker cloth are next to be printed. These are heat transferred onto an audibly transparent material that allows the graphics to remain strong and vibrant, yet still allows the sound to pass through the cloth from the speakers. The cloth is attached to the speaker mount board before being trimmed and the speakers mounted. High quality tweeters, mid range, and a huge 12 inch sub are mounted before being moved to our wiring department. The wiring is hand soldered and the crossovers connected. back to the shop floor for the speaker board to be fitted into place. The cabinet is now ready for its chrome. Each piece is individually cast in aluminium before being chromed and finished. Each section not only adds to the distinctive 50s look of the jukebox, but adds strength and support to the roof, the side glasses and the cabinet structure. The steel roof panel has been powder coated to the specified Crosley red colour and fitted ready to be attached to the interior which is finished in smooth silver. With the chrome and interior fitted, the side glasses can be fixed into place. The glass design features a double-sided screen print, giving the Crosley logo the 3D effect. A frosted number 42 graphic completes the look. The steel pressed front fascia is finished in Crosley red powder coat before the brand name plate is fitted and trimmed with chrome by hand. The reverse of the fascia holds the button bank which has been wired by hand and allows music selections to be made via the buttons on the front display. The nameplate 
featuring the Crosley logo has been backed with the translucent white to allow the light behind to diffuse. However, unique to the 42 machine, a thin outline around the logo is completely clear, allowing a glow to form around the wording once lit. Each Crosley 42 jukebox will boast a sound leisure 21st century 8 disc CD changer, as well as an in-house developed Bluetooth receiver. Each mechanism will be fitted with a 42 styled mechanism cover that moves as the arm slides across to select a CD. Each mech is tested thoroughly before fitting. Window decals have now been applied to the 42's front glass. The Sound Leisure D4 digital amplifier has been installed and ready to connect to the CD mechanism. In, the selection rack can now be fitted in place. The jukebox is now complete and ready for testing. Each jukebox is rigorously tested before being signed off and ready to pack. In the past we have built custom jukeboxes before for the likes of Sailor Jerry, we've done Jack Daniels, uh, we've built machines for Coca-Cola. Uh, I think the 42 was probably the, the one that's really driven home the facts of, or the points of what we can do. We are looking forward to the next project. We know the team at Crossley have got some great ideas up the sleeves, which we will be working on throughout 2016. And the Fox 2 gave us such a great uh, base to start from that now anything is possible. And 2016 is looking fantastic.